Hello and welcome to my start of 2015 desktop tour. Right, I'm going to start off this uh, desktop tour by working my way from uh, right to left, so all the way around to the side, and I'll show you some other things as well. But first of all, I'm going to start off by looking at my chair. Uh, it's just a cheap chair, I think I've got it from like Ikea or Costco, something like that. It wasn't very expensive, I think it was about £50. But this chair, for me, is really comfortable. Uh, it's got a lot of padding all around the whole of the chair, uh, so it's really comfortable. Also, the arm uh, rests are quite long, and I have really long arms, as you can see there. Um, it Normally, I have it's just the right length for me, so I don't have like loads of um, arm hanging over at the ends but it's just the right height as well uh, it's adjustable so I can get the right height as well so it can fit under my desk also um, it spins so I have a lot of fun spinning around on that get it to focus yeah so it's a really nice chair it's quite cheap as I said but it does the job right so we're gonna start at the top first of all we have this Philips Bluetooth speaker uh, this was a very inexpensive Bluetooth speaker. It's not very good um, quality sound, to be honest. It's not very. It gets quite loud, but not extraordinarily loud. It is battery powered or plug uh, USB micro USB plugged in. I've got it plugged in via micro USB, so have power all the time. But it is Bluetooth, so I can connect it to any of my Bluetooth devices, and I can connect it to my watch. Uh, this is great because I don't always have um, my Chromecast on. Uh, so I can't always listen to music off uh, Google Music, so it is quite nice to have that opportunity just to have another second speaker there ready. Below that I have DS Games, which I've had for ages, don't even use it anymore, but it is there. Some films, then have some Blu-rays, then we have all my PS3 games. So we're going to go down to this uh, TV, this is a 22 inch monitor, it is 720p. Uh, it sort of is just a TV I had for, since I was about... 8 I think, probably a bit older, probably about 9, 10 actually. Uh, it's got a DVD player, but the best thing about it is it's got a HDMI port, which means I can plug my uh, computer, which is there, uh, into it, and I can dual monitor uh, that, put make that a dual monitor display. Uh, sometimes I have my Chrome class plugged in there, so uh, it is currently plugged into this TV but sometimes it is plugged into this TV so that I can game on that one and then have my uh, Chromecast plugged into that and listen to music. So let's get to this computer. It is a HP Pavilion. This is a 720p screen. It's got 8GB of RAM. It's an i3 processor as you can see there. It's got a terabyte hard drive. It's got a HDMI. Uh, it's got one USB 3 port. It's got Two, if I'm correct, yeah, two, not two point, two point USB ports, and it's running Windows 8. It's a, it was a great price when I brought it. It was, I think, about three hundred and eighty pounds, which is great. I use this for editing, um, and also I use it for light gaming. As you can see, I've got Five Nights at Freddy there, and uh, all my things all down the side. So Coolie Lab, so the Microsoft Game Maker. It's pretty good, it runs really smooth, no faults with it for the price. So I would highly recommend if you want a laptop to buy this. But there is better out there, but of course they, they can get very expensive. Next to that, you have a Snowball mic. This is my mic of choice at the moment. It was very inexpensive for me. I got this for just £35 on an Amazon uh, Lightning deal. Uh, I got uh, me a message from someone saying look out for this deal and it went to half price which I think is a great deal. Uh, I really like this mic because of how it looks firstly with the uh, metal front. Also around the sides it's just white and it looks really nice. It also has really good sound quality once uh, recording and stuff like that. Um, then next to that we have my OnePlus One. This is my daily driver. I love this phone. It's got amazing battery life, really fast, really snappy, and at a great price at two hundred and eighty pounds for the sixty gig, sixty four gig model. Sorry, uh, I really like that, and also the uh, packaging and stuff like that. It was just amazing quality for the price. Then I connected. We have the uh, cable for the OnePlus One. 
and that goes into an extend USB extender which goes into a power block around the back. Then next to that we have my hard drive. This hard drive is 126 uh, gig. It has USB 3 and also lightning port. Uh, I've seen a couple of other YouTubes use very similar one. As you can see there it has a lightning port which is very good and then it has the uh, USB 3 there which is great for me because I like uh, putting a lot of music on there and transferring the uh, files across. Then we have here, it, uh, I'll bring it out, is my 3D printed sad. I got given this by a friend and uh, I, he printed it out to school. I use this a lot if I'm FaceTiming, uh, no not sorry FaceTime, Hangouts. Um, it hang out some people and I'm playing games so I can talk to them so it's got the OnePlus logo right on the side there it's really easy because I can plug say if I need my phone charger I can plug it straight in it, you put the cable through there and it goes straight up the top this is uh, really good for me because most of the time uh, I do quite like talking to people while I'm playing games so let's get to the TV this TV is a 1080p uh, screen, it's bush and it's really good for me because it's not humongous, it's got a very uh, small rim around it, but it has two uh, HDMI ports, it has also two USB slots which makes it very good for me because I like putting a lot, uh, lot of um, uh, hard drives in there so I'll have two maybe two at a time. Uh, it's it's a smart TV, but even though I don't use the smart function because I have a Chromecast, but I do, it is a smart TV, um, as it has on the remote. If I get the remote there, it has YouTube and uh, Netflix there, and the record button and this uh, web browser button. This that shows that it's a uh, smart TV. It was two hundred fifty pounds. I think it's it, that, that it's got che the overall uh, prices have got cheaper smart TVs now. So I did pay a bit over the odds. But it's still a very good TV. I think got it from Argos, in fact, uh, for when it was on offer. But it has gone down a lot more now. Uh, next, we are going to the thing below my TV, which is the LG G Watch, which has got the uh, plug for it. And then I have got it on my charging dock, so whenever I need to use it. This is great for me because I like having my notifications on the move. And I really, uh, I like using this around uh, school and stuff like that. Just sh it's a lot easier for me than get my phone out, it risking getting it taken off me, stuff like that. It's just easier, and I would recommend a smartwatch if you uh, are even thinking about it slightly. Next to that, we have the Nexus Seven tucks tucks away. Uh, if we get that out, there you go. I've got a Nexus Seven. It's got the official case. Uh, I've got a nice uh, polygen background. I really like Next 7 because it links into my phone. It's also got great battery life, so I get about three to four days standby on that alone. So that means I can uh, really use it a lot when I actually need to use it. Then here we have my uh, uh, battery charger. It's te I, for the camera I'm using right now, it takes double A's. So whenever I need to charge uh, my camera batteries up, I use this. So I have the batteries for that. Then we are going to go under this uh, desk to here. This is my little section of stuff really. I have a remote there for my PS3 there and then a fake remote. Then I have my PS3 which I've changed the hard drive from a 12 gig to 120 gig so that I can play put more games on it. Um, in this box here we have the cables box I'll quickly get this out I have literally a whole box full of cables so if I get that out I've just got cables this cables for the snowball aerial cable USB uh, split off so four ways a retractable um, uh, micro USB I have loads of cables in it it's unreal I have a little adaption kit that I got with something I think it's my battery pack so I have a lot of cables ready as well for when I need them so if we put that back quickly, uh, this is my book that I write in my notes in for uh, my videos. I have loads of stuff been filled in here, so that that's probably the best place if you want to get future videos. Uh, one sec, before I take out, that is my subwoofer. Uh, that is what is a Wolfdale subwoofer. It is 
I think 20 watts it is really loud and it vibrates the whole desk and I really like it if you see that little thing back there I will show you quickly if I turn around that is the aerial cable this si uh, the signal uh, cable for my lights I'll show you them at the end all right now we're going to go into my drawer right so if we go in we have the remote for the other little 22 inch TV uh, the cup for coins the remote I like using because it's the only one that's not uh, got anything wrong with it then I have my 30,000 uh, milliamp batch pack this costs 15 pounds got it for Christmas but it's got 30,000 milliamps as it said there that is a lot I can charge my OnePlus up about nine times and not have to uh, worry about it going flat then I have my remote for the uh, lights which I'll show you in a minute Nipper Touch 2nd Gen, this is a great device, I remember jailbreaking it, if you would like to see some jailbreak videos uh, or anything like that, like retro videos, give me a like, then I have an iPhone 3GS here, which I will be doing a video on, but uh, drop test, then the Moto G that I've uh, just reviewed, then I have my little uh, box of stuff, right, next to that, I have my 3D printed USB stand, got this uh, off someone as well, I use this a lot because I have a load of USBs, right so we're going to go into that little pot again, I have a FM radio transmitter for a 30 pin connector iPod, I have an iPod shuffle, a Wi-Fi dongle, SD card, some other little bits, uh, FC tag there, that's it really, I've got wallets, gloves, just stuff really. Um, so we're going to go right under my desk, I have blazers, boots, trainers, vans, I have a laptop under there, uh, if you can see, so I'll get my light, if I get my light quickly, I've uh, got a Toshiba laptop which is crap, that's why it's under that, then I have my computer which doesn't really work, it's not very good, it's got like a 1GB RAM, it's got like i3 process, no, nothing, it's got the keyboard above that, um, I might pimp out that computer, I don't know really what I'm doing at the moment, but I've got a few ideas what I could do with it. Then I have some football stuff over there. Got and that's about it really. So finally, I'm going to show you my lights. So give me a sec, and I'll be right back uh, once I've turned the lights off. Right, as you can see, it is very dark in my room now. I've only got my laptop and my TV on right there. Uh, that is, as you, if you would like to know how to do that. I will make a, a how to android thing on that, that is a backdrop for the Chromecast which I made, I'm very proud of that and it looks really nice when uh, my room's dark, right so if I go turn these lights on, there you can see it lights up under my desk all around, it looks really nice, if I change it to red, if I, there you go, it looks pretty cool, uh, normally when I'm game I have it red, then blue is when I'm watching films and then green uh, is normally when I'm uh, gaming. This is uh, down the back, this looks really bright. I'll turn lights on and show you the back down here, it's a mess of just wires and cables. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I can have it on like different settings like fade and stuff like that. But I can slow it down, speed it up. And uh, yeah, that's basically it guys. I'm gonna quickly uh, uh, go around the back, turn my lights on. Right, so now I've got all my lights on, as you can see, uh, lights, lights. Then, um. And so we have to take a look around the back here. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you have a lot of cables. It gets a bit messy. Yeah, and it, it, it just doesn't go any better down here. To be honest with you, just cables. I've getting my computers there. Subwoofer. It just gets really messy. Um, uh, there's so, there's not really that much more. I haven't got a really a large room. I've got an all right room. There you go. A bit of room tour as well now. Uh, if you quickly saw us now, I'm at Frisbee, got into that lately. Do athletics, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment what you think of my setup, any improvements you can think. I will be purchasing some uh, new things over the next couple of months, probably some new headphones. So I might have a look at the Audio Technica range. Also, I want to be getting some new splitters so I can have speakers working on all uh, TVs, stuff like that. But overall it is pretty much complete thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time here at top tech reviews and if you would like any 
to see anything more like this, please leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.